All right, here we go. The immortal John Hancock here, and thought I'd do a fun little live stream. We'll see how this goes. Again, um, I'm not the best at it, so I just want to say uh, welcome to everybody who's taking time out of their day to come see me on this live stream. I've wanted to do this for a while. I'm not the best technical person whatsoever, and so I'm just doing the best I can. And so want to want to welcome everybody for coming in. And <laughs> I accidentally went live earlier today. I got a, oh, who's this? Why look, it's the eternal Sarah Hancock. Hi guys. <laughs> so anyways, um, so uh, some people were asking, why do I call myself the immortal John Hancock? That's a great question. Uh, Junkin Master Paul came and visited my game room and he, uh, he, tied, he labeled me, you know, you are the immortal because of he saw my sega genesis collection so anyways that's uh that's how i got the immortal john hancock it differentiates me from john hancock insurance it differentiates me from other things and so just uh <laughs> just wanted to uh state that so yeah just want to say uh uh welcome everybody and just uh like i said you guys are uh really really happy to see everybody on the stream again sorry it's not the best and again uh, just want to say hello and uh, for everybody uh, uh, joining and so yeah what am i wearing what hat am i wearing oh yeah alter beast hat it's official sega project product yeah and uh yeah radical radji uh, let's see here hey reg how's it going <laughs> reggie's good friend i'm gonna make uh, i'm gonna make reg i'm gonna make you admin Oh, it survived an accident. Yeah. That's another oh. reason to call you immortal. Oh, <laughs> I did survive an accident. Actually, I had a skateboarding accident. And uh, uh, if you notice my hands here, uh, right here, my hands are uh, jacked because of an accident I had as a, a skateboarding. I almost died. And that's why I don't skateboard anymore. So that's scarring from, uh, it's not because I fight. But yeah, anyways, lots of questions here. Okay, so... Let's go boom, boom, boom. All right, so people were asking about the Intellivision and uh, the new Intellivision coming out. I think it's an interesting project. Uh, real quick, I, I think that uh, price is gonna matter on this on the new Intellivision. I think it's a good idea. I just don't know, man. I just, uh, I, I think that, you know, uh, Tommy's a pretty passionate guy and I support what they're doing, but, you know, colored screens on the controllers, and, you know, I, I heard that it's not going to play regular in television games. And so the question is, is there enough market there for it to be successful? And so I'm going to wait and see October 1st. And I think he's a passionate guy. And it's great to see in television get some uh, get some love there. So anyways, yeah, uh, Atari VCS again. Um, <laughs> I uh, it's that's a tough one. I really don't know what to say other than. I think everybody needs to wait and see before it hits retail, before uh, anybody decides to get that. I got one for, uh, I just wanted to say, oh, thank you so much. But thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm just really getting back to the Atari VCS. I really don't think uh, it's, it's a great project. And I think there's some controversy around it. People are being smart to wait. And I would wait. I got one for the channel or supposedly uh you know but that's the only reason and so anyways collector talk there's so much to talk about um unlicensed nintendo game there's an earlier comment about do you play unlicensed nintendo games you know uh i try to stick to the classics you know when i'm playing nintendo i stick to like your mario metro and zelda there's some great unlicensed games gauntlet comes to mind for the for regular nintendo uh, Tengen made an awesome version of gauntlet so definitely that's like you know gaming with that um i just want to say wow oh well, thank you so rc from new york city thank you so much appreciate it wow just appreciate people uh, chiming in anyways welcome everybody and just uh uh no, don't play the bible games nope <laughs> don't play the bible games no i mostly do the tengen stuff tengen had some great uh nintendo classics for unlicensed stuff some of their stuff was terrible but the gauntlet game's really good and uh oh no Old graphics, already Retron 77 joystick broke. Yeah, they're already working on a new fix for that. Uh, I didn't get a joystick for my Retron 77. So welcome, 
Well, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. Most appreciated. Thank you so much. It means a lot. It means the world to me. Um, again, uh, I really, this is my first time doing a live stream, so I, I know. Uh, and so I didn't know what to stream, whether on my iPad or my iPhone. I have an iPhone 10, so I'm just checking it out. So anyways, I want to thank Radical Reggie for being admin. Uh, we had a great time, and um, we had a great time up in Canada, and, and uh, he was, it was great to chill with him. He really... He really is a great guy, and what you see on YouTube is what you get. So he's got a, he's got a great channel. Thank you, uh, thank you, Reggie, for being admin. So, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, great. I'm glad it looks and sounds fine. So yeah. So anyways, uh, Reggie, you're a great friend, and um, I know I can always talk to you. You know, if I need, I need to have a question about something. So it means a lot to me. So, anyways, uh, Reggie, uh, man, his knowledge on PlayStation stuff especially is just crazy. It's just like, I, I could say a game and he'd just go boom, 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 boom. And he'd be able to say whatever, you know, because he's like, he's the real deal. So anyways, thanks, Reg. Someone wants to know where you get your hats. Oh, hats. Uh, I got them, I got this one at PAX. And so um, I got it at PAX. I love it. And it's it's a great uh, place to get merch. I, I always love hats, so yeah, I, you know, and it's official Sega product. So there was a Streets of Rage one too, and then I, I like this one. That's why I prefer this one. So yeah, thank, yeah, thank you. So yeah, a lot of a lot of people, uh, a lot of people just uh, appreciate the comments and stuff. This is crazy. So, anyways, uh, uh, I loved Canada, Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. If you want like Canadian variations, it's a great show to go up there. I had a great time, and. Uh, and just, yeah, I was going through my collection and found some, like, Canadian Pongs and stuff. So, yeah, who, does anybody want to see the game room? Want to see the progress? We can do a little tour here. Want to do the tour? All right. Let's do this. All right. Let's go. Let's go. We're going. Let's go. All right. So, I want to let you know that my, my game room is in peril. So, I want to let you know that it's a work in progress, okay? So, uh, uh, okay. All right. So, go in the game room. Okay, and what you're seeing right there behind me, what you see behind me, and that's like the cube. And so um, I'm really working on this. It's just, it's, there's just a ton of mess. This does that, I hate that. And so I got some people coming from Europe that are checking it out and I can't say much more than that, but, uh, but yeah. So anyways, uh, wanted to check out the game room. There's my Sega, Sega wall. I love Sega and, um, yeah so yeah it's just de definitely um just want to thank uh thank everybody for the donations appreciate it and uh just people just checking out this this live stream means the world to me you know i'm i'm not too good at this stuff so just i'm trying to <laughs> i'm trying to uh do the best i can so there's my mvs uh these are my mvs kits and again these are uh these are a lot of these are homemade and so i have some official ones but uh, a lot of them are homemade. I just use some cardboard boxes just to make my MVS carts look better. Let's go check out the Sega wall here. This is my pride and joy, guys. Guys and gals. <laughs> Goes way back there. And every Sega game and an alphabetic order. I have some favorites here. And it's, again, Master System. Love Master System. So, yeah. Yep, back there, Nintendo wall. This is my Mega Force poster. Yeah, so again, it's kind of a mess. But what I'm trying to do, it's kind of hard to see, but I wanted to organize my game room and to like have it more attainable and, and able to like everything's labeled, all these paper boxes. And that is so that I can find stuff going. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Anyways, uh, anyways, just wanted to show this. It's crazy. This is temporary. Uh, I don't want it. I don't want my games in my house anymore. I mean, the, the, the long story short is I want a museum and I want to put this stuff in a place where I can display it. I can have people play on it. Uh, it, it really is my passion. If you hear that outside, there's, there's a bunch of people on uh, motorcycles outside. So <laughs> yeah. Um, mini bar main machines. Uh, there's a, those are cool. I really like those. I like original stuff. And so, um, yes, I have insurance through the house. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do storage because, uh, storage, things can get stolen. This is my garage. 
And again, uh, and then I have stuff in the I have stuff in the attic too. So yeah, it's crazy. So I just want to say um, thank you for everybody joining in. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to get the museum, and it's a long. I have to form the nonprofit still, and so there's just a there's just a lot of thing. There's a lot of things to go into doing it right, and so um, twenty six hundred car. All right. Let's go in the other game room, okay? We'll come back here maybe. Let's wanted to check this out. So yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the donations. All right, let's come in here. Let's come in here into my smaller room. Anyways, this is uh it's kind of a mess here. Anyways, that's my Atari 2600 wall with Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, help me out if you, if the Eternal Sarah Hancock's helping me out. She's being my wing person. Thank you. So, yeah, it's my, this is my kind of my passion here. This is where I shoot a lot of my videos. Um, and, and anyways, I, I have, uh, I got a new, I got a new video coming. Got a new Vectrex coming, Vectrex game. And this is brand new. This is from Loose Soft. Hopefully I'm saying it right. There's, I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing that, but yeah, it's, it's Vectrex. And so it's a box. It's got an overlay and everything. It's awesome. So, yep. So that's my that's my room of doom. Anyways, uh, over here, it's my game and watch. And so, game and watch here. This is kind of my. I, I really love this stuff right here. It's really hard to find. And so that's my humble box game and watch collection. Again, sorry for the motorcycles outside. There's some people having fun. So, anyways, uh, down here. Got some Vic 20 stuff, and this is my Vic 20 collection. Game room's really mess messy right now, so anyways. <laughs> Radical Reggie has a request for him to show Neo Geo Pocket. Neo Geo Pocket, Reggie, Reggie. Okay, I'm gonna sh Reggie. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you why I can't show it. So come oh. come with this this way. So Reggie. So you know that when I'm doing a video. Uh, by the way, Reggie. So Pocket Fighter is a new fighting game for the Nintendo Switch. And that is going to be an awesome game. And it's it looks like a Neo Geo game. So anyways, Reg, I'm going to show you where the Neo Geo is and why I am not able to show it. So let's go back here. All right, going back into the Dark Depth Dungeon. All right, Reggie, I'm going to try to show the Neo Geo the best you can, okay? All right. All right. All right, you see that? That's the best I can do, Reg. Right there. Whole set. There's my turbo graphics too, by the way. You can see it. <laughs> yeah, whole set there. Anyways, you know, you know when I do that, I'm gonna do it right. But, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to do that video with you. So, anyways, yeah, I hate, I hate that it's like that right now. So it's just I'm out of space. All the boxes, by the way, in the front there are Atari ST. I love collecting like Amiga and Atari ST stuff, and so um. Definitely uh, is something that I want to continue to collect. You know, in the museum, I want to have classic computers. All right, who wants to see probably one of the rarest things in my collection? I just unearthed it. Um, I haven't tested it yet. All right. So, hey, all right. Thanks for all the comments, folks. All right, let's check out. I'm, I'm going to showcase something in my son's. Uh, I just dug it out today. Oh, sweet. All right, let's, let's go. It's great. Anything to say? I just got a shout out. Someone said hi, sir. Hello. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's check this out. Reggie, thanks for your help, man. Definitely owe you. All right. Let's go here. It's my son's room. All right. So here it is. May not look like much, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see who knows what this is. All right. Ah. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be backwards. It's fine. All right. Don't want to turn around. All right. You see what that is? Does everybody know what that is? Okay. It doesn't look like nuts. No, okay. Yeah. Good. All right. All right. It's probably the rarest thing. One of the rarest things in my collection. And um, it's imagination machine. So this is a computer add-on for this console that failed. And there's a guy in Oregon that found this in like a like a yard sale, and you know we we negotiated a price, 
And the imagination machine, machine I heard, I heard there's only like a thousand, there was only a thousand like made. And so it's, it's crazy rare. It does work. And for people that like, if you wanted to play a good game on the APF, it's baseball. Baseball is a great game. So definitely uh, definitely check that out. So yeah, that's that's APF. So yeah, definitely uh, wanted to uh, show that. But that's Imagination Machine. That's one of my more uh, rare things. It does work too, I tested it. I haven't tested it this year, so I have tested it. So yeah, so, yeah, that's one of my more rare things. Just wanted to say hello to that. So yeah, any other questions here? So yeah, imagination machine. If you have never seen one before, it's pretty crazy. Jesse wants to know if it works. Yes, yes, it works. Yes, tested it. Yep. Yeah. Well, I can't do that now, but it's because it's it's pretty hokey setup. But yeah, but yeah, it's it's a, it's crazy rare, crazy rare. Yep. All right, let's go back in the game room. So all right. So yeah. Stadium events. Yeah. <laughs> How did I get it? I got the imagination machine uh, through a, a person that contacted me at PRGE. He knew how much it was worth and he cut me a deal and he didn't know it worked. So I bought it untested. So it did work. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Should show it when it hooks up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like I said, I've I've been in this game room all day organizing the cube. I think that's what I'm going to call the middle here. So the cube, kind of like a game cube, but it has more games. So <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah. So collector talk. Hey, mad little pixel. Hey, how you doing? Great to see you on. What console would you recommend to collect for uh, today's market? Today's market, if I was to recommend a game console to collect. Oh, thank you for the donation. Thank you. So yeah. Uh, if I was to collect a game console now, starting from ground zero, definitely Xbox. Xbox would be one fun to collect. You find it everywhere. GameCube, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, DS. You know, I'd go like a couple generations back because you can find that stuff. Like nobody cares about Wii right now. You know, my Wii collection is humble, but there's some good games on there, and it plays GameCube. So like definitely collecting Wii, um, Xbox. Yeah, Dreamcast, kind of hard to find the consoles, though. You know, when I go to a game show, what do I see everywhere? Xbox, PS2, PS2 is definitely one to collect. Um, you know, definitely, definitely see a ton of that. You know, uh, you know, even collecting for PS3, if you get an original PS3, you can play PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. So that's another thing. So, yeah. Uh, you know, th those, are the, those, those are some of the more modern consoles that you're going to see more of, you know. And so, yeah, what's my opinion of the 32X? Heck yeah, 32X, awesome. So let's go look at the 32X. Here's my 32X right here, and it's complete. And it goes back, and just a thought show. It's complete, really nice shape. Web of Fire. You know what's more rare than Web of Fire, though? This guy. Finding this complete is really tough. Yep. So yeah, 32X. Great console add-on or, you know, console add-on. Anyways, uh, I like the Sega CD better, but um, I, I'm a fan of Sega. I've been collecting Sega, you know, since Sega came out. Huge fan of the series. I love Sega CD. Tons of Sega CD here. Woo! Goes all the way back into the dark day. The darkest dungeon. So anyways, uh, <laughs> How yeah. How many Sega Genesis games do you have, Jesse? I have no idea, man. <laughs> uh, it's alphabetical order, and I used a confirmed checklist. So Somebody thinks you should write a book on how to inventory because they're in awe. Well, okay, so here's the deal. I don't like how this looks. I don't like how this looks, but it's in alphabetical order, and I can find things. And so the, the crazy thing is, is that, I had it all nice and organized. I had it by grid. I had it all the red with red, all the EA white with EA white. And guess what? I couldn't find anything. I'm just, I hated it. So I have it alphabetical order. Corey Strite of Classics and Oddities, he came over my house and for 17 hours we organized it. Thank you for the donation. Thank you. And yeah, yeah, it's crazy, man. It, it was like just crazy. So, yep. Someone was 
know what your favorite beer is. Favorite beer? Whew. Um, I really like Irish Death. But in Vancouver, at um, the Met Hotel? Met Pub? I had a chocolate stout up there. Mm. Chocolate stout's pretty good. Definitely like the darker beers. Um, yeah, good times up there. I, I, I know I can't have it too much, but you know I'm I'm trying to be healthy. But I, I do uh, <laughs> I do like a good beer, definitely. <laughs> the, instead of the Dewey Decimal System, the Dewey Hancock. <laughs> yeah, it could be a lot. I mean, again, I need to get these games out of this game room. We need to have a museum where people, you know, can be showcased. Uh, you know, I didn't collect just to have a game room full with stuff with cardboard and cardboard. So this is just temporary until we get things going and, uh, you know, let's do it. So, you know, the thing is people were asking about, or you thought about like a GoFundMe when you're ready? Yeah, but I have to have the right town. I have to have a town that wants it. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, this is definitely, um, it is it something that's been on my mind, uh, looking at Vancouver possibly in uh in washington vancouver washington but again i need to sit down have the nonprofit, all that figured out first and then and then get get serious but definitely yep how many game boys do i have not too many uh i have a couple hundred i mean like i said i have uh all my game boy games in, the, in a couple boxes nothing crazy nothing i can really like showcase now um, Action Max game system. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. I have a complete set of that, all five games. And Adam was asking if you've ever heard of it. Oh yeah, have not only Action Max. Get this. Oh, Action Max. I have something that's that's gonna blow your mind. I have an Action Max homebrew game called Bubba's Buck Blastin'. That's right. This was a homebrew game made by someone off Atari Age, and yeah. And so uh, there's even somebody. I wonder who that is that put all the Action Max games on a uh, on one DVD for, for collectors. And so I I, uh, I might have known someone that did that a long time ago, no longer available. But uh, but yeah, but definitely, um, yeah, Action Max, uh, I had all five VHS tapes, and yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Reg. Do I collect any JAMA? Um, I, I did. Okay, so the sort answers I had... I had a super gun and my wife had a uh, cancer scare and I sold it. I sold it with my Commodore VIC-20 collection. Joe Santulli bought my Commodore VIC-20 collection. I had some crazy stuff, a couple prototypes. And, um, and I sold that back in the day. So I mostly just do Neo Geo. That's my jam. Uh, I love the Neo Geo. And again, uh, I love AES and the MVS. MVS is a little bit cheaper. I'm just out of space. I even got the CD represented. All right, let me show you that. Sure. Somebody has a limited edition John Hancock game from Atari Age with a spider ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Game Panic. Yep. Yep, Game Panic back in the day. All right. Taking taking this off. I'm showing something really rare. All right. All right. We're good here now. It's bright light. Bright light. Bright light. All right. Sorry. That was my terrible, terrible gizmo. All right. All right. So I'm going to show you something. Uh, on the Neo Geo forums, a gentleman did a trade with me. It's my pride and joy. Again, this is something that's pretty hard to find in good shape. I'm, I'm getting something out if you're wondering what I'm doing. So. Uh, one more one here. All right. Ooh. NTSC. Neo Geo, and this is the uh, U.S. version. It's in really nice shape. So let me hear. Let me pop it up there. All right. Ah! Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. So anyways, that's Neo Geo CD in really good, nice shape. And uh, I've got to put the bag back on. I'm trying to keep it protected. It's really nice shape. I'll deal with that later. Great anyways. From or Thank you. Any questions for the wife? <laughs> Thanks for all the shout outs. People are saying hey. And um, when I comment, it says Justice Vlogs because that's our son's YouTube channel. So if you see something that says Justice, that's actually me commenting. Yeah. Good times. All right. All right. Any other questions? I'm probably going to do more of these. Again, you know, I just it's just uh, it's my favorite game. Oh, what's your favorite game? Do you have a favorite game? Oh, 
I really mostly played games when I was pregnant. Something about being pregnant really, really made me play games. And so it was Puzzle Quest, right? Yeah, she's just having a boy. Oh, <laughs> That's not P stereotypical. Uh, so it was Puzzle Quest, right? That was the... Yeah, and Zookeeper. So get this. Zookeeper. So Zookeeper on the DS. So she blasted my high score. And she crazy. and her, 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 her high score name was Prego. And I thought she was cheating because she's using two brains. Ha uh ha, -huh, he loves uh -huh. that joke. Yeah. But um, in my non-pregnant state of state of life, I really don't game much. Yeah. I appreciate I kinda, it. I kind of support him. But... I kind of game and collect for two, so definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Future uh, summer plans? Yeah, fixing this mess. So yeah, fixing this. I've been. Uh, I I got three more days of it where I'm sending eight hours in here organizing and cleaning and uh, doing some purge. Some of my old pong stuff. I'm going to be doing a sale at uh, Corey Strites Classics and Oddities in July. And so that's where I'm going to take some of my extra stuff that's just not, I just, you know, can't fit here. And nothing crazy, but yeah, definitely going to do some stuff. Yep. Yep. I might or order a Polymega. You know, I'm going to wait and see, you know, if they want, you know, I might do a review of it, but it's just one of those things like, you know, clone consoles, I like testing them. I like showing them on my channel. Do I collect them all? No. There's one There's one clone that I really like, and that's the AVS. And I do like that. Um, there's some other good ones. You know, they're not all bad. Uh, the AVS has been the one that I've been using a lot. Um, clone consoles, they have their place in history. And I definitely want to have that represented in the museum. However, um, I just, I, I'm out of room. And so it's just one of those things, like, they're just constantly, clone consoles just constantly come out. The Polymega, you know, I want to check it. I've heard about it. That's the Molly. That's the modular uh, clone console. So yeah, definitely want to def definitely want to check that out when it comes out. Do I have an FM Towns Mario? No, we do not. Uh, there's definitely a couple consoles I don't have. Um, uh, a couple other things I'm missing. Uh, in a Bandai Pippin. I don't have one of those. Um, uh, RCI RDI Halcyon. That's a really rare one, and I'm uh, missing that. Someone wants to know if we have AC and heat in here. No, you can probably tell because yeah, we're like sweltering. hot in here. Super NT represent. That's another one. That's a Super NT. That's the box. I have it hooked up in the other room. Yeah, definitely. Do I have an arcade? Yes, I have a Pong machine. Uh, do I have a Mega Duck? No. Nope, don't have a Halcyon. Nope. Uh, favorite game based on a movie? Mm. Mm. That's a good one. Favorite game based on a movie other than Star Wars? So I think outside of Star Wars, I'd have to go with Megaforce. So yeah, love Megaforce. If you could have one console and one. Mm. Right now I'd say Sega Genesis. Tomorrow might be something different. Do I have Game & Watches? Showed that earlier in the video. <laughs> WWF247, do your dimples hurt when you smile? Oh geez. No. Isn't he cute, you guys? Oh, Aww. that was so sweet. I got a cavity. So yeah. He's so cute. Lots of comments about your beard too. Favorite arcade game, Robotron 2084. Yep. Do you collect full sets or of game series? Yes. Uh subset collecting is awesome. I'm trying to collect all the greatest hits or the player the million seller of N64. Some of them pretty tough. Yeah. Yes, I collect in the attic too. Yep. Favorite book? Uh Leonard Herman, Phoenix Fall and Rise of Video Games, Phoenix Four. Video game history. <laughs> Some uh, movie-related games, Blade Runner, Willow. Yeah, those are good. Robotron 2084, favorite arcade game. Love it. Vetrax Collection, all right. We're running out of time. All right, <laughs> yes, so. Yes, you dad, dad jokes. Like, yeah. so sweet, I'm giving it a Yeah, I know, dad jokes. I want to just thank everybody for taking time, coming out, and uh, I've got a minute left. I just wanted to showcase this again. Um this, this was pretty fun. This is definitely a different vibe than, than doing a video. So, all right, let's come check out the Vetrex. Vetrex one on the Vetrex. I have, it's a mess. I have the, uh... all right. I'm going to first show this Vetrex controller, Chuck Van Pelt. Chuck Van Pelt, uh, thank you so much for, uh, he, he made these back in the day. He made a Vetrex joystick. And then there's my Vetrex collection. Uh, that's pretty hard to get. 
and then a couple home brews, tons of home brews there, complete set, release stuff. I don't have Mindstorms 2, I don't have Mr. Boston, but yeah. Anyways, thank you folks. This has been fun. I want to thank everybody for uh, coming out. And uh, again, just want to say thank you. And uh, thank you everybody for, for joining in on this. I think I'm going to wrap it up soon. The kids are going to be coming back soon. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, people. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you. Guys are awesome. Thank you. All right. How do I end this? <laughs> hey, Reg, how do I end this? That just shows you how, how advanced I am. <clears throat> Thank you so much. So somebody says, <laughs> somebody says just quit, but what does that mean? Just quit, huh? Take care, folks. Thank you.